Hi, this is John Hennessy. Welcome to another edition of American Horsepower. And today we have our Velociraptor SUV that we're excited to talk to you about. And this is a vehicle that we've been working on for a couple of years. And um, pretty much what you see it speaks for itself. We took a uh, Ford Raptor Super Crew truck and basically cut the back of the truck off and blended in an SUV like an excursion type rear shell. And so you still have the full functionality of the uh, of the Raptor truck with all the off-road abilities and strategies that the guys at Ford developed where basically the, the Ford Raptor truck is capable of pre-running Baja um, and turn it into an SUV. So we're very excited about this vehicle. Uh, you'll be hearing a lot more about it in the uh, very near future and we'll show you a little bit more about the vehicle here shortly. Thanks for tuning in. On the interior, everything is pretty much what you would find in the normal uh, Raptor truck, as well as you've got the second row seating with really a lot of seat, a lot of leg room. You could put, you know, a six, seven, six, eight basketball player back here. Then you've also got room for a third row seat. This particular client opted not to do the third row seat, but you do have that option available. Okay, so this is obviously the part of the vehicle that makes it far different than the standard Raptor truck. You've got basically the Ford Excursion. Uh, rear uh, hatch and ambulance style opening doors and I don't know how well the video will turn out but you can basically I could crawl back here if I had a sleeping bag set up back here I could be taking a nap completely comfortably on a road trip to Colorado so whether you're going to do a road trip or whether you've got lots of stuff, you've got horses, you've got kids, you've got, got activities. I own a couple of GMC Denali's and I would say that the space in the back of the Velociraptor is 50, 50 to 70 percent larger in terms of the volume of space that we have available in the back of the vehicle. We'll get exact measurements, we'll probably turn the vehicle over to Truck Trends or one of the magazines and let them do one of their calculated measurements. But having owned an Excursion, having owned multiple Suburbans and Denali's, the Velociraptors is, is larger, more comfortable in every dimension, in my opinion. Under, under the hood of the Velociraptor SUV, we take the 6.2 liter, 411 horsepower V8 from Ford and we add our TBS 2300 series supercharger which again adds about seven pounds of boost and bumps the horsepower from 411 to around 600. So again, you've got uh, a fairly uh, sizable vehicle at 6,600 pounds. Original Raptors around 6,100 pounds. So we've added five, 600 pounds of weight to the vehicle, but via the supercharger, you now have 600 horsepower. So again, zero to 60, slightly under six seconds per vehicle with this size and weight. There's really nothing else like it on the road. NAC Performance is going to be offering a number of optional upgrades for the Velociraptor SUV. This would include upgraded larger wheels and tires, Brembo brake upgrades for additional stopping performance, as well as a full complement of interior upgrades. If a guy wants to have a mobile office set up, if you want to have custom seating like you'd have like in a, uh, a cut in a um, high-end like a Goldstream type jet, uh, all the way to uh, armor plating and security systems. So, for somebody that's looking for a vehicle that offers um, incredible performance both on and off the road, uh, the ability to go a lot of places that a lot of other SUVs can't go while having a, a huge amount of room and comfort, uh, I can't think of a better vehicle um, to deliver those things. So uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, we look forward to showing you more about our vehicle. Alright, we're going to go take our Velociraptor for a little test drive around our test track here at Lone Star Motorsports Park, which is next to our shop here in Sealy, Texas. So I'll get my AC all set up and nice and cool. And um, exhaust is basically stock, so the vehicle is still very quiet, still very much a 
family type vehicle where you'd want to be very you'd be very comfortable having your wife your daughter your kids going for around town or road trip and uh, I've put about gosh since we've uh, built this vehicle I put probably four or five hundred miles on it just doing a little bit of validation before we deliver to the client and I can say this the Velociraptor and I'm not just trying to toot my own horn or, or sell a truck it just I want to basically say it's maybe one of the most comfortable vehicles I've ever driven and um, basically the, the factory Raptor truck because the suspension is built to be so compliant off-road is just extremely cushy going down the highway and it really reminds me of let's say like an old you know 1975 Cadillac how it just glides down the road we go out and just cruise down in the back of our track here throw a little sweeper turn again we're not trying to win any races or say any lap times out here this is just a comfortable roomy off-road cruiser and if this wasn't a, wasn't a client vehicle I'd be glad to take it out and run it through one of our lakes or mud pits out here at the track we're gonna keep it on the road for today so there we are 80 90 100 110 and on the brakes so and if you're out driving down a two-lane road and you've got some 18-wheeler who's poking along at 48 miles an hour and you want to get around him and you've got potential oncoming traffic this has got enough get up and go to deliver enough performance to not only you know get you around a vehicle going down the highway but also to give you something fun to drive every day, which that's what we're about. We're about fun, interesting vehicles that uh, that are different and that are cool. And um, I put the Velociraptor right at the top of that list. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, maybe on our next build we'll run running these bad boys down the drag strip and uh, see what runs the quarter mile.